How do you know that the expansion vessel needs repressurizing on this Alpha ETEC combi boiler when doing its annual service? Well, a telltale sign is that there's liquid or water in that rubber tube. That rubber tube is connected to the pressure relief valve, which you can see in the red. And if that's passed, the boiler's gone over three bars. That's why there's water that's collected there. And we can take this little cap off and just drain that little bit of water out so we can clear the little tube and going forward we know it's empty now and next year we can we can obviously check again. Not all boilers have their pressure relief valve connected to it internally like that. A lot of them go outside of the property and you'll see a little copper pipe under your flue. Some people call them blow-offs. But in the alpha, they're internal. There, I've isolated the flow and return, which is on the right-hand side of the boiler. I've connected that hose to the drain-off. I've drained the boiler, so it's now on zero bar. We're going to connect my pump to the expansion vessel if we can get this aider valve cap off which is really tight so let's get the grippers on silicon grease which helps prevent the Schrader valve from passing after I've used my pump to repressurize the expansion vessel so pump connected to it and then let's see what the pressure is it should be one bar or just below one bar but no it's on zero so the expansion vessel isn't doing the job it's supposed to be doing and that's why the boiler will overpressurize and the pressure relief valve will open up. So looking at the service book, the boiler is three years old. It's had two services. On this service, I've put the expansion vessels been repressurized, but I've, I've stated it needs checking every year due to the house being quite large and being quite a few radiators. I've also noted that the emissions dropping over the last two years and I will um, more than likely check the gas valve next year and uh, recalibrate it. 